ready for champs also. It's the morning of the championships for the riding club, Swellcliff Park. You there, staying at home. Apollo, I seem to have better results. Um, so we go. There we go. Just getting them in. You need to his breakfast food. to just do the unveiling of the plats and see if they stayed in. We're giving you a quick breakfast and we'll get you ready and we'll get on the road. Yeah, actually, stayed in all right. Just gonna roll these bad boys. Hi, Abel! <laughs> Platted! You're so golden. <laughs> 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 he's also got himself a little bit wound up because he's shaking oh, that you might be able to hear someone <laughs> bright and breezy this is, the this is the champiest I've ever seen you in the morning <laughs> this? want to see me about this? it'll be, be fine moaning, miserable. and mum all I can see is a silhouette of you right we're just packing the lorry and then we get cracking. He's found himself up so much, he's shaking. So that's a good start. <laughs> well then, Pooh. Uh, I bet we'll get ready. Okay. We're running a little bit late, so I'm trying to get myself ready. Is that a nine or is that a nine? Does it matter? <laughs> but I've got this fabulous Lumia magnet number bib because I'm the worst at printing off numbers so Tash always had to do it but now she doesn't so that is good no I do bloody stuff instead and no because they've got a space for something so they want to join these people here but yeah okay right we'll put them here then Are late because it sent us small cliff park is in the arse end of nowhere and it literally sent us all around the houses i don't know whether that's a six or a nine but it's a nine now so panic luckily apollo doesn't need much time warming up but all hands on deck oh i can see why it's got a cat there <laughs> you know which arena you're in? Know where you are? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm following that massive ginger one over there. Okay. And then hit that one. Right then. And then me. Leave you to it. Relax. Let your reins out a little bit. Yeah. Breathe. I feel it. I mean, it was what it was. But the sun's out. We don't expect too much from a Apollo. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I was actually pretty pleased with this test. Even when I was like going round and once I'd finished before I'd looked at the video I was I was pretty pleased he felt he felt quite sweet um, he definitely came out this time a lot better than he did last time but he's quite quick to pick up what he's doing so if he goes out once the next time he goes out he's a lot better um, and the more he does the the lot better he is 
So I was very much on the fence with this test because it was it was sweet, you know, there wasn't anything that went wildly wrong except I very, very nearly forgot to walk at one point thinking that I should have, I don't know, turned left or right and I can't even remember. And then I was like, no, walk, abrupt, halt. <laughs> And actually, we got a lot better marks for our canters, which we lost marks on last time because I kept the power a little bit more. And I think the judge really liked him. I find with the natives, if you do a nice, sweet, accurate test, then you tend to get higher marks than like I do with Louis because he's excessively fancy and has so many buttons to press. So Apollo tends to get better marks than Louis because I can contain him, he keeps his rhythm really nicely, whereas Louis's a bit too changeable sometimes. So the judge must have really liked him. He ended up getting a 33 dressage, which I was really, really pleased about considering it's his second dressage test in probably about eight years. And it's his second ever event. Yeah, literally ever. So to go to a championships and do a nice sweet test and get a 33, I think that left us in the top, top five, I think it was. So um, yeah, I was really pleased with him. watch these back and just think he's such a little trier he's just like all right I'll do that okay I'll go where you want me to he's, he's just so good takes it all in his stride does what you want <laughs> he truly is a golden boy And by the looks of it, we got a nice square halt. He's obviously quite pleased with himself, yanking the reins out of my hands. But I was equally as pleased with him, considering we had 10 minutes to warm up. I think that was a pretty good test. can you ask for? How did you think that went? That was a little bit rushed. Um, actually, I was okay with it, to be fair. Um, I got the left canter, which is always a, a gamble. I nearly forgot to walk, but I did, thankfully. I got like halfway through and I was like, um, I'm sure I'm supposed to have walked at some point here. But then I remembered, luckily, just in time. So it was a bit of an abrupt walk. Um, but actually, it was fine. We trotted where we were supposed to trot, walked where we were supposed to walk, cantered where we were supposed to canter. So we'll see. What we'll see what the mark comes out as. I'm not massively fussed, you know. It would be nice to have a good mark, but it's Apollo and I never expected him to be here, let alone, um, you know, come out again. So. I'm just having a lovely time. He was having a lovely time. He's very chilled. <laughs> he was trick trotting around. A uh, hat, body protector, passport. Let's check you in. Okay. Better late than never. Yeah. All good. <laughs> so we've just gone over to check Apollo in. We were a little bit naughty. Did it a little bit late. But everything's 
really fine. Thankfully, all of his vaccinations are up to date. I knew that anyway. My body protector is up to date. And I've got a medal before I even started. So even if I fall off, you go home that. You've got a medal. I think you've even got a sash. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, even if I fall off, I've, uh, I'm a champion. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't record any of that. No, <laughs> did you not? That's hilarious. <laughs> we, we are off to walk across country. Dash is busy. Messaging my new friend. Because <laughs> someone made it onto the All Star Academy. <laughs> I've got famous friends now. <laughs> it was like out of over 500 people. Me and Nikki didn't make it, but at least we got one repping it. <laughs> she trained me well. I am the protege. <laughs> Reckon it, reckon it. Yeah, she's uh, she's making friends, making new friends. My mate Tommy on the line. <laughs> right, we're off to walk the cross country. See how that looks. I'll be back, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to deal with my old mate. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I won't change. I won't let it change me. Fame. <laughs> this is what happens when fame comes along. <laughs> I'll share the numbness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. two horses go around the show jumping to see, to see what my course was so I think I've got that hopefully um, we'll just get on this bit of breeze now the sun keeps coming out and it's really really warm and then there's this massive breeze which keeps coming in which is quite nice so hopefully that will keep them a bit cooler but yeah You have to get your leg on yeah, like and really back on. it up with your stick. And I need to make sure I'm not holding his head because he seems to feel a little bit more secure when I've got hold of his head. Um, so no, I'll jump that up right one more time and then I'll jump this one once and then I think that'll do him to Perfect, it is a bit slippy and hard.
ready for the end. How are we feeling? <laughs> oh my day. Oh that was so slippy in there. Is it brilliant? So you gave him a big boot over that last, there was no chance. Well, I was coming into it and I was like, I'm a little bit far off at this. I was like, mate, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to use something around here. <laughs> Happy. Looks really good. Well done. It's cracking round. Now, usually I leave you to watch the cross country because everyone loves a bit of cross country, but I did want to talk through this one and my thoughts behind it. He was pretty sticky in the warm up to start with, anyway. So I knew our round was going to be hard work and possibly quite sticky. One was sticky two, three, better, four, you can see he goes a bit green again, but he jumps out quite nicely. He's not a massive fan of these hills, as you can see, he doesn't really know what to do with himself down them. So I'm just thinking one jump at a time, one jump at a time. Comes over five, fine. He actually went all the way down to the bottom. He had a sticky moment and a big jump at the Dragana. Uh, did the water complex absolutely fine. And here he's come back up the hill and you can see he's tired. And coming round to number 15, which was causing a lot of problems anyway, I didn't have the heart and he just peters to a stop. And I'm, I just, I was like, oh, I don't know whether to carry on. So I take him round to it one more time because this isn't Apollo being naughty. This is Apollo saying I'm tired. So I take him round to it one more time and see how he feels. I feel like I've faced him at it now. I can't not jump it. So he jumps that fine, comes in the water. That's fine. Boy. And then he climbs out over this one. And I was like, no, he is far too tired. He is trying his hardest. So you see me come round to the next one and... I don't even present him. I'm like, no, no, this isn't fair. He tried his hardest. And had we finished on our dressage score, we would have been second. Well done! So nice and clear, over six and seven. Oh. You all right? Uh, Lilliput, Did five. you? Into oh, when? Yeah, he looked the tired. He uh, looked tired. He looked like he was giving it everything, uh, but he just—he just means more to me than any cross country. So representing when area fourteen, the Carlton Riding Club. He could have gone, but he would have climbed over it. Yeah. And then he came around the corner and he just went no, and I was like, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> this is not him being naughty. No. Naked, telling me that he can't do it. Ah, oh, you gave it your best shot, did it? It's a tough course. It is a tough course for a fit horse. Swole Cliff is well known for being undulating. Yeah, over the ten. And that hill just sat at the top. Yeah. Yeah. At the top, he was like trotting out of it. To the last and over the line. Let's walk him off, he's puffing. So, it's like, how old is he? He's 16. He's got absolutely nothing to prove. No, God, no. Absolutely. Never thought I'd even they, be here. Exactly. They owe us nothing. Exactly. You know, that's what I always say. Yeah. They don't owe us a thing, do they? No, not at all. So, not yeah. At all. Oh, well done, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he tried his absolute heart out. Yes, I mean, uh, it is a it's a tough course. You want to oh be reasonable. That hill really saps them. It's a real proper course. Yeah. It's a proper... I think even my hundred horses struggle with, like, coming up here. And he goes up to a gallop once a week. So today wasn't quite the fairy tale that I had hoped it was going to be, but as I've said, my horse is more important than ever crossing the finish line. So he is as happy as Larry, safe and sound. He, that hill just took too much out of him. Um, and I don't, I don't regret my decision at all. It was a tough one because I could see the finish line, but had I gone the three more jumps and he hurt himself, I'd never have forgiven myself. So I'm glad I made the decision I did. 
possibly should have made it a jump earlier but I made it and because of it we are all happy and safe. We're all home now, Apollo is in his stable having a well deserved rest and then he's just going to have some dinner and go out in the field but it turns out I wasn't the only person to retire three from home and funnily enough one of the other girls in our team retired three from home so yeah that hill was sapping a lot of energy I know that a fair few people were um, having trouble at the second water probably because of energy levels but it's fine everyone's everyone in our team we had two two complete and two retired but everyone is safe and happy and well so we've done right by our horses and we've had fun in doing so <laughs>